Hi, I'm Tammy Potter. I'm going to show you what's included in a Mosaic Moments page kit and how easy it is to put together. So as I open the kit, I'm going to just take all this stuff out of it. And one thing you'll want to notice is this label right here. That's what's going to tell you what's included in the kit and that is how you're going to put the kit together. So you want to keep that image handy. Inside the kit you're going to find usually some pattern paper, although not all of our kits come with pattern paper. Some of them are done completely out of cardstock, but in this case we have sheets of photo play and they're pre-cut. You can see how they're all cut, laser cut, and so we'll just pop out all those pieces. So we have sheets of cardstock and then we always have two sheets of our Mosaic Moments grid paper. In this case, it's in navy. So what we're going to do once we um, open the kit, we're just going to start popping out these pieces and just kind of put aside the extra paper. You never know when you might want a little extra piece. So I'm just going to pop out all of the pieces first and then once I've got all the pieces popped out I'm going to start placing them on my grid paper. We have about 150 to 200 um, of these kits online um, depending just you know sometimes we have a few more and sometimes a few less and they most of them are made with um, some of the paper companies that you would be familiar with, like Doodlebug, Echo Park, uh, Basic Gray. So we'll just keep putting all the pieces out here and just pop them all out. They have these little tiny perfs just to keep the pieces from falling out in the laser machine. All the little one inch pieces, I'm going to put those over here so I don't lose them. I was thinking you want to roll some glue on the back first, maybe. Well, I could have rolled the glue on the back. That would have been a good idea, but I didn't do it. Um, but yeah, always a good idea to do that with the little one inch pieces. It makes it go really fast. Okay, so now that I have all my pieces popped out, I am going to use my label and that's going to show me where I'm going to place the pieces. So first, I like to um, place my largest pieces on my um, pages first. It just makes it seem like it goes easier. My first piece is going to be this large piece in the center. And I'm using my grid lines to keep the pieces all straight. So I always line everything up in these little corners. And I just line it up with the lines. And then I have these three pieces. So I'm going to place one here, one here, and then one goes underneath. So I'm going to, you'll notice that there's a different pattern on the back side of these. So if you didn't like what was on one side, you could always use the other. Of course, we don't show both sides on the label, just the one side. And I just roll a little of the Herma Dotto uh, adhesive on the back. You can use whatever adhesive you like best, but I just really like how it works. And it rolls on really fast. And it takes just a little bit of it really to hold your pieces into place. You don't have to cover it. Just, okay, so now we have, what happened to my pink? Oh, there it is. Okay, so I have a couple of pink pieces that go on this right here and here. So I'm going to place those. And you can see how quick this is to go together. The whole page will be done in just a few minutes. And we need a couple more of these pieces. Line those 
comes up in those little lines, grid lines. And I used this particular kit today because I had some photos of my daughter from her graduation. Her school colors weren't pink and blue, but she really loves these colors. So I thought I would place her graduation pictures on these pages. Now I'm going to go to the second page. And again, I'm gonna start with my largest pieces just because it just helps to easily see where the rest of them. And notice I have a long strip here, so I wanna make sure I leave space for that. And so here's my long strips. Place those. Just a little glue here. Another long strip. Lining them up. And our pink pieces. Now sometimes the laser machine will give you a little tiny um, kind of smoke on one side of the page. So you want to make sure that you get the front side, the non-singed, um, I guess, part on the front, unless you like the singed look. And then I guess you could use that on the front. Okay, so now all we have left is our little one inch, and I'm just going to go ahead and make some little glue on each of those squares, and then I'm going to place them all on the page goes pretty quick here. Once I get all of my pieces, I'm going to go ahead and place my photos. I've already cut them um, to fit the mats. And if you happen to have the Mosaic Moments dies, that is a really quick way to cut and size your photos for all these pieces. That's how I cut mine and they will fit on there just perfectly. Okay, so now I have my two pages. Notice how it's just like my label shows. And now I'm gonna place my photos. So I'm going to put this photo here. It's a photo of her holding her graduation cap. And then I wanted to make sure that I included some photos of her with her friends who graduated with her. And, oh, you'll notice that's a little bit too large for that spot. I forgot to cut that one down and the same with that one. So I'm going to cut those down in a minute. And we've got some of our other pieces here so I'm going to go ahead and place those now I I cut this one with my die set a the square dies and same with this one I went ahead and cut that down with my die set a so it just fits perfectly and I also have journaling I actually like to do most of my journaling on the computer so it's, it cuts out and does just perfectly. And I have a couple of photos here. I wanted to include a picture of their graduation rock that they paint on every year. And a little bit of her classmates surrounding her during the graduation. So see how fast this goes together? I just love it. Okay, I can make so many pages and it, they look great when you're finished. I had to include one of her dad giving her the big hug after graduation. He was beaming from ear to ear that day and so was Alexis. They were both so excited. Of course, I was excited too. And there she is with her um, diploma, that's what that's called. Okay, so now once I've got all those done, I will quickly show you how to just take a little bit of this off so that it fits this mat right here. Okay, so this, this is a five and a half inch wide mat and it, it's going to fit the four inch photo in height, but I need to trim just a little bit off in the width. 
So I've got to get myself a knife real quick. Hang on one second. Sorry about that. All right, so I'm just gonna trim off. Now you'll notice I have about three eighths more in that direction. So I wanna trim off so that it's a little less this way. So I'm gonna take off a little bit here. And then this is now, see here, one, two, three, four, five, and that's a half, but I still need to take off three eighths, so, and I want to do it this direction. So I'm gonna trim down a little bit on this side. I gotta count again here. One, two, three, four, five, plus a half, and I want three eighths off. So I'm gonna take two off of this side and another eighth off of the other side. Okay, I got a little extra over here. Alrighty, so now that's going to just fit perfectly. They were so excited to get those diplomas. Alright, and then I'm going to do the same thing with this photo. I'm just going to trim a little bit off of each side so that we have the right amount to go in the mat. Now I could have done this, of course, like I said, with the Mosaic Moments dies, but I didn't have my die machine out and ready, so I'm just going to do it this way. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. The half minus the three eighths. There we go. All right, and I've already got a little bit of glue here on the back of this one. And there we go. All perfectly done. So here we go. Two pages, page kit, all done. I don't know how long that took, but I don't think it was very long. So I hope you enjoyed this and um, hope you'll enjoy our page kits. Thanks for watching.